Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog here, and I'm back for some more of the Mercy Toys videos of course, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my play of NES Remix 2 for the Nintendo Wii U eShop download. So, last time we actually been completely done with both Super Mario Bros. 2 and Kirby's Adventure, aka the most excellent platforming games in this particular set, which I will say though is that of all these games we've actually been into so far, um, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Bros. 2, and Kirby's Adventure, I pretty much, pretty much dominated for the most part though, when it comes to those games in mind. So, today for this episode, folks, is the fact that we're going to be jumping into the puzzle games this time around though, because even I know, we might as well be able to take a break on platforming games from now on though, and able to actually tackle through some puzzle games, but in forms of both Dr. Mario, and Warriors Woods. See, for now, though, that maybe seems the case, mind you. But even then, though, that, um, yeah, of all the NES games we actually be run into, is that Dr. Mario got lesser amount of stages, like the forms of, well, Dr. Mario only has like six stages, while when we get to Warriors Woods, on the other hand, well, we only got about eight levels in here and there. See, for now, though, let's get stories by the forms of Dr. Mario first. So even then, we can get to Warriors Woods until later, but even now, that's as far as memories goes, that's all I can say about it here. And that was a bad start. <laughs> because what I was trying to do there is the fact that I need to be able to do a fastest time method as possible though, before I'm able to actually get myself my, you know, Rainbow Stars run through on this. But even now, I might not try my best to do this on the first attempt though, but as long as we're able to actually just, uh, again, tackle for the forms of, uh, you know, uh, the Rainbow Stars run, um, I would able to actually classify for able to actually- Oh, right. Oops. I totally forgot I need to press the, da uh, direct the directional pad down in order to actually just to get rid of the virus that way. So there we go then. Um, as far as Dr. Mario is concerned, um, I haven't really experienced the NES version of uh, Dr. Mario as much. Well, at least the first time I've ever played the Dr. Mario game before. Not only it goes to the WiiWare titled body forms of uh, Dr. Mario and Jump Buster, aka Dr. Mario Online RX, and you, for those of you who lived in North America, well, it's probably too late for now to be able to get that game now, because as you can tell already, the WiiWare games is officially dead. This means it includes Pokemon Rumble, uh, WarriorWare DIY, and especially noticeable with Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1, which, to be honest, I was really, really uh, upset about this specific news and all, all that stuff. That's only because we're in the future now, but we're not, uh, we're no longer in the past and all that stuff. But that's as far as I can really try to say about this for the most part, though. And also, I've um, um, actually experienced another Dr. Mario game, but in forms of the DSiWare game, but in forms of. Um, try a little bit of um, Dr. Mario, aka Dr. Mario Express, which even now, no, it's basically the exact same game as how it does in the forms of the WiiWare title, except it's on the DS, DSi screen, so even now, no, that, well, the music is pretty much the same though, for that, specifically for that game. Oh, we got ourselves a new NES game we are going to be trying out, not on a ghost to Metroid, so even now, no, this might be actually be the first time we've ever going to be experiencing a Metroid game for our YouTube channel this time around though. So here's Link doing this a little bit of a stab going on there, since, you know, the Legend of- No. Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. I keep on saying The Legend of Zelda for some reason, but that's just how I think about it though anyway. So we've actually ex um, got now Metroid now, so even though Metroid only has like 12 stages, so even though we'll get to that later on. But from now on though, let's go ahead and continue on with the forms of Dr. Mario World quickly and able to actually go ahead and tackle through stage 3, so... Annihilate two viruses at the same time, so even though that way we can able to deal a job done. I'm not exactly a masterful expert when it comes to Dr. Mario itself, I will admit though right away though, because there were a few times though I'm always attempting to make my, um, pill dropping so slowly if I managed to able to actually just get into the best run through as possible, but sp specifically some of these challenges like this that I've always have to able to actually, um, I think that was actually a bad move right there, so I need to able to restart this because even then uh, I totally get that mistake going on. Um, recently that informs of how the fact that with the exact same year, but informs of 2014, that, you know, came out for this particular game right here, and among the same year as when, um, oh, I keep on failing for that part, so let's go ahead and just keep on filling up the entirety of the capsule and then we can able to try this one more time and if we uh, fail this if we get ourselves a game over then we'll pretty much have to do the successful attempt in drain just in time but not aggress so yeah dr mario's first for my first experience alongside with the forms of trying out 
the WiiWare title back in during the likes of 2008. Um, I've actually first come across into Dr. Mario ever since he was actually being playable character in the forms of, well, to be more specifically the unlockable character anyway, in Super Smash Bros. Melee, which is pretty simple to unlock is by simply completing classic mode as, well, Mario obviously. And I don't know about the adventure mode, could be the same thing, but I need to be able to research on that as soon as it's, if it's true or not. But unfortunately though, since we've only got one Rainbow Star ranking, and that only goes to stage 2. But even then, as far as the rest of this run through, it's not going that great though, because there were a few times though that I always, um, get these little, uh, pills or capsules to go pretty slowly for the most part though. And, um, now let's move on to this fourth level right there, and in order to actually do with this particular task, is to be able to actually get a score up to 1,000 points. Jeez. 1,000 points, that's quite a lot. But even then, though, that... It all depends on how the fact that you can actually get rid of those um, viruses in during no time. If you manage to able to get rid of those little viruses and especially some uh, capsules in general, which even though that might be sounds a little bit more conspiracy. Of course, I was very familiar with this particular music right there because that's usually calls it uh, FIFA. That's what it's named because even though you can definitely hear that music in any forms of the future Dr. Mario titles, excluding Super Smash Bros. But in forms of you know Super Smash Bros. Melee and all the way up to Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS slash Nintendo Wii U. So even then, I really don't know if how the fact that well. Obviously, Dr. Mario, and as far as the actual Super Smash Bros. community, um, he was actually a clone character of any kind, because it's pretty obvious because of how the fact that, well, he plays exactly like Mario, except all of his movesets has been slightly a lot more powerful than the likes of Mario's movesets, which even then, that might be sounds a little bit, well, juvenile at points, which even then, that might be sounds a little bit more, you know, kind of cool looking at the same throughout, so... I believe this mission might take a long time though, because there there might be some emphasis there how the fact that I might as well able to actually just uh classify for able to actually just to see about Dang it! Oh god, I've been too hasty, aren't I? So a lot of grass. Let's go ahead and just um Actually, I might as well able to restart this, because even though no, I've accidentally screwed over for that specific um, capsule to land on. Well, the only trickiest part about this game, though, in my opinion, though, for, for this anyway, is how the fact that you need to be right on with that specific landing with the forms of not only the capsules, capsules themselves, but it's also because of how the fact that you need to be specifically right on with that specific um, um, segments right, right here, which even then, though, I was like, are you serious? Jeez. Come on, man. Uh, one thing is kind of a noticeable thing in the forms of this game this time around, though, compared to the ones in the original NES remakes. Um, if you manage to get yourselves, I'm assuming if you get a game over in any sort of level objectives, um, um, similar to the ones in the forms of um, the Nintendo Switch version in the forms of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, where I managed to discover it through, from my own time though anyway, whenever I'm playing Funky Kong on that mode. I mean, yeah, he was incredibly cheating, which I know it's true, but even then though, because of the fact that I've managed to stumble across, there is actually an option that if you manage to able to leave the level, it, if you manage to get stuck on by the forms, I've, I would say if you die like uh, a few times or later, uh, the, the message pops up to hold the fact that if you're having a hard time with that level, then you can actually move on to the next level without need to complete that specific level like that. Alright, if I don't get it this time, I was going to say screw it and go for the next mission because I keep on, like, keep on restarting for that specific section's notice. So even then, uh, let's try this one last time. And then if I don't, on the other hand, though, then I might as well do a successful attempt, though, because, yeah, that's, that's what I can come across, though, basically. And speaking of the devil, so even then, though, I might as well keep on restarting, so... This might be a little bit more of a retrial and error stimulating stuff, as far as you might think it is, but... Normally, that's as far as I can usually can say about this, yeah, but obviously this is a puzzle game after all. But nothing too major about it, but even now, no, that's as far as I can say about it. So yeah, today was actually for himself um, the 3rd of July. So even then, though, that um, after these puzzle games, I probably should take a break on this game for a little while, because even then, um, until tomorrow, though, anyway, the new Let's Play is going to be up, but he forms off the brand new My Little Pony um, Let's Play, because even then, though, that um, it's been a long while since actually going back into the My Little Pony games ever since then. Oh yeah, by the way, for those of you able to actually notice something, what the release dates of the forms of Dr. Mario's released on, 
Uh, this game did first came out in 1990, which even then though, that, um, yeah, that's all I can really say about this here, and, uh, yep, not much to tell there. Now, as far as I'm aware, is that in the ultimate goal in, uh, Dr. Mario, it's very simple. Basically, we need to get rid of those every single viruses in this one particular capsule jar. But as long as you're able to actually get rid of all the, um, you know, the viruses in here and there, then you would able to move on to the next level. However, it depends on what level choices you want to go to. The highest level will actually be 20, mind you. And you can also manage to, um... Uh, change your um, speed, um, d um, you know, speed drop by the forms of some of these um, capsules has been dropped down. So if you don't know if you want to able to be up to be more challenged than that, then by all means you can able to actually set the actual uh, capsule drop in your forms of like high speed. Which even I know that I did test it out on my on my own time by the forms of Dr. Mario and Gem Buster. I had a really hard time on that specific. Um, you know, um, setting, because even then, though, that I cannot stress that enough, because even then, I wasn't particularly a hardcore puzzle gamer, but I'm pretty good at some of them, by the time's sake, by the forms of, um, well, let's just say that I was a pretty good in the forms of P-Cross, especially noticeable with Tetris itself. I mean, Tetris is such a, well, outstanding uh, moments there. So even though that's usually as, well as far as you expect it for any other puzzle games to be like that. I do know there's also another puzzle game, but in forms of, um... Oh, what's another puzzle game I was going to be thinking of? Oh yeah, Puzzle Lake, but in forms of Pokemon Puzzle Lake for the Nintendo 64. And it's basically noticeable with the forms of the Puzzle League game, in the forms of my DSi Wars, even though these are the only two Puzzle League games I've ever played through. I know there's technically Pokemon Puzzle Challenge for the Game Boy Color, which is basically a prequel, somewhat of a prequel to, um, I wouldn't classify for saying Pokemon Puzzle League, or a, uh, I would say a spiritual sequel to Pokemon Puzzle League for the Nintendo 64, except it's on the handheld. And plus it's an 8-bit rendition, but it forms of not only the actual sprite, but also the music as well. So that's the only major differences there. So um, if you couldn't tell already, but it forms of stage 4 that I had a, I had a really hard time at the moment because of the, um, the actual purpose of that specific challenge we need to get up to is the, um, you know, 1,000 points. And luckily for this particular um, challenge right there, I have no problems with it. Let's just hope I can get myself. God damn it. <sighs> I might as well come back for that later down the road until we get to the very end and we've actually unlocked the final stage in Remix 1 So naturally we've pretty much unlocked everything in Remix 1 So that way we can able to actually unlock later one anyway until we're able to actually unlock ourselves Um, well basically Remix 2 now so even then though that um, after a couple of stages later money in forms of this particular challenges and whatever then we can able to actually just you know unlock you know Remix 2, and eventually, um, when we get to the very end, though, anyway, um, we'll actually unlock bonus rounds, even then, though, you know, just like the ones in the first NES Remix game, so, except the fact that, um, between Remix 1 and especially Remix 2, it does less, it has lesser amount of stages this time around, though, compared to the likes of NES Remix, um, original. Because it's pretty obvious, because of the fact that it's just a sequel, and plus, um, most of these games doesn't have nearly as much challenges compared to how it does in the forms of NES Remix 1, I don't think, but in forms of, like, for example, um, The Legend of Zelda, and especially Noseborn Super Mario Bros., because both of those games have massive amount of, um, challenges, excluding Super Mario Bros. 3 in this game, and especially Noseborn with Kirby's Adventure, and, uh, well, obviously, Super Mario Bros. 2, obviously, and even especially noticeable for Metroid, and speaking of Metroid, we actually got a Samus Aran um, stamp, see, so Fernando, that may actually help us out, and we've completely done with Dr. Mario, even though, unfortunately, though, we've only missing out five stages to Rainbow Stars on, but even then, though, I must well do those in the forms of the, you know, Rainbow Stars run, so don't worry, we'll get to those one day, but for now, Let's move on to the next game in the lineup, but it forms another puzzle game, but this time around though focusing on Wario, so even then, let's head into Wario's Woods. Now, here's something that's very unique when it comes to this particular game itself. You're actually going to be playing as Toad for the entire time, which is technically uh, Toad's ever, uh, first ever games that he's able to be playable on, which even then, uh, this is when before when Captain Toad Treasure Tracker exists, in the forms of Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo 3DS versions will be on its way and during the likes of, well, 
Uh, during the actual property of the forms of the 20th anniversary, whenever when this game's first released. In fact, speaking of such, this game first came out in 1994, which might actually be the last major um, NES game that's been released. I was ex uh, expecting for some uh, balance of Mega Man games, but in forms of the original six games on the NES games nowadays. But even though, no, no, that's only because of how the fact that originally though, in 1993, they're expecting that the next Mega Man game will be on its way, but in forms of the Super Nintendo, but it wasn't until in 1995 that um, the classic Mega Man game now gets released in the forms of Super Nintendo logic-wise. Even though, no, no, that makes it pretty obvious there. So, uh, anyways though, for Warriors Woods though anyway, it's basically it's as simple as you can get. Well, I found, of all the other games we're going to be running to at this point, in my opinion though, this will have to be the low point for me for this particular selection, in my opinion. Well, what can I start with this though? Well, until we get to the later stages though, that's the only prime example of how the fact that I say that is because... Well, normally because this is the last major NES game to be released for the Nintendo's logic, because even then though, that... After this, the NES never saw a live day until they moved on to Super Nintendo and stuff like that, so... That's pretty obvious with this little um, scenarios and all that stuff, but even then, that's as far as I can make the consumption with that, so... I did not mean to kick it right there, but that's just totally my fault right there. But, um... It's one of those games that I need, I need to get used to with the, all the controls and physics, and especially the main mechanics of this game itself. But even then, no, uh, uh, again, I do give this game some credit for that you can able to actually play as Toad for the very first time in the forms of the actual main purpose of this. Well, technically, if you're able to be playing through the Super Mario Kart, for example, that um, normally you can play as Toad anytime, anywhere, and stuff like that. But even then, no, otherwise, though, that um, it's pretty nice to see how um, Toad got himself his own game, technically speaking. Well, usually the main antagonist was still Wario ever since during the likes of Super Mario. Land 2, um, you know, six golden coins for the Game Boy, and then later on in 1993 uh, or 4 or something like that, uh, Wario got his own game, but he forms of Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3, which is kind of unique by itself, and I keep on playing on that. Hi. <sighs> I have no idea for this point, folks, but even then, I need to get used to with this control schemes in this particular game, because even then, though, that this is one of those things that's, um, this is why I feel like, uh, this particular control scheme, so this particular game, especially those about the main mechanics of the game itself, can get pretty confusing sometimes, I will admit though right away. Because, until we get to the later stages, okay, press the D-pad up, to able to escape up, which I've already technically done that before. Okay, so what I found out to realize is how the fact that, gradually I did manage to fail right there. Okay, so basically we need to press the A and B button at the same time before you're able to grab onto that specific uh, creature over there. Because yes, in order to actually move on to the, you know, the next portions of this particular um, game, although it's pretty much endless for the most part though, but um, in order to actually uh, move on to this next couple of levels notice, is that you need to able to get rid of every single creature. So even though if you do that, then chances are you would able to actually just, uh, well, accomplish that. So... Well, it might be very easy said than done, but believe me, because I'm able to actually stumble across the worst ever control scheme, well, not exactly the worst in my opinion though, it's just one of those things that can get downright frustrating. What is this, like Ice Climber all over again? Or even especially noticeable in Cuckoo Land, for instance? Which even though it's one of the more combination of the two, I would say that much. Oh, I was so close to get this next stamp. I think I was off by 13 points left. Which, for this matter, unlucky 13, so it's like, F you, another level. Talk about that tradition right there, game. So, clear the stage in two minutes or less, so... In fact, um, what if I first time I've played this game in my own time back in 2014, I actually got stuck into this specific game for the longest amount of time because of how the mechanics work, and even especially noticeable how the controls worked out, and even especially noticeable how the fact that I cannot able to proceed later on, because even then though, I just got stuck tremendously because of how the fact that, well, well, there's not much I can tell for that part, so, um, oh yeah, that's just pretty waste of time there, so let's restart that. In fact, I could, um, you know, do this in a normal better run-through for this point, but otherwise, it's just pretty much, you know, simple as it is. Well, simple, but also complicated in my opinion, just for this matter of, um, 
you know, um, all these mechanics and all that stuff. So anyway, so now let's move on to this, uh, the second part right there, which now we need to get rid of these, some of these creatures there. And, um, basically in order to actually get rid of those, uh, monsters right there, is they're able to actually designate the bombs, which even though that way it'll do the damage on those creatures. So even though that, if you couldn't tell already, I'm having a hard time with this control scheme, because even though sometimes, uh, the game itself doesn't usually, um, um, help me as much as this as far as I'm hoping it will be, but anyways, let's go ahead and just press the D-pad up until we escape out of it. So that way we can able to actually complete this stage as normal, so there we go then. Oh boy. This can get pretty busy work going on here, even for the actual, uh, Warriors Woods itself. In fact, I haven't got any of the Rainbow Stars, well, the only exception being the forms of the very first stage in Warriors Woods, pretty much. So we've got ourselves a uh, Morph Ball from Metroid. Because I'm uh, talking about that tradition, we'll discuss more on that game until later on. But for now, erase everything, uh, try grabbing uh, try grabbing a monster with a B button. Which, yes, uh, Toad still picks up stuff, just like the ones in Super Mario Bros. 2, aka Super Mario USA. Except the fact that, well, Toad was actually exploring for the woods instead of the subcons. But in forms of, you know... In Super Mario Bros. 2 community, but in forms of, you know, oh no, continuity of anything else for this was either ball. Anyways, though. Alright, so, let's go ahead and just toss these bombs right there. I'm not sure if this will work, but even then, no, we'll, we'll just give this a shot, though. But even then, no, I can expect you know, I would able to actually just to do this right. Okay, um... Maybe this will work? Oh, I don't know, because even I know that... I know it's been a long time since I actually played Warriors Words for the, my entirety of my life, but it's just one of those things that it just gets really complicated with all these control schemes, especially with the physics or the uh, stuff of mechanics in this game. There we go. Now we've annihilated every single monster right there. So let's see what rankings I can get. Son of a pig. Ah, <sighs> Two stars. Well, there goes the, um, the three-star ranks department right there, so I might as well come back to that after the, um, well, until at the very end of this video, though, anyway, so I might as well able to just get it over with and done with. Erase all the monsters in a single comp- a single chain reaction, sorry. And, um, I'm not, I'm not supposed to able to actually just drop the bomb from here, I'm meant to able to walk with it, and they able to actually perform a chain reaction as much as I do, so anyways. Uh, I think that's the wrong bomb, so even then let's go ahead and toss that there, and, uh, yeah, there goes that, so. Fine, I'll just retry this specific segment's notice, and what's weird is that if you manage to complete this segment, you, you still have to mainly focus on just trying to do this specific task at one hand, so. There we go, that deals with that done there. And now let's move on to cause a chain reaction, oh boy. Huh. <sighs> How bad could it be though? Well, at least not as bad as the forms of um, Kuku Land, because the forms of Kuku Land has the worst control scheme I've ever encountered in a Nintendo game like that. And um, Ice Climber, but the forms of worst physics and the forms of um, uh, the stiffest controls in that specific game. But it feels really complex or especially complicated with this game though. But that's just how I think as far as you might concede I will go. But I digress. And there's also another uh, another thing I worth this game some credit for is the fact that this might actually be I would say the only appearance in Wario in the forms of the NES um, console it wasn't until when it gets to like you know uh, Game Boy and especially noticeable in the Super Nintendo or etc. Then he'll basically pretty much be coming common right there. So even though that basically pretty much does, deals the job done for that part. So. I uh, don't know what I'm doing, because even though not that, the game expected me to able to actually do this with one singular run-through, but... Oh, Jesus Christ, I have no idea what I'm doing right there. In fact, let me stop restart that. Can you tell this, um, how much attempts I was gonna be doing this? Um, it probably took me about 10 attempts. In fact, let me just restart that, because, uh, that was a really slow start. But, um... Anyway, though, let's try that again. Yeah, as I mentioned this before, this took me 10 attempts to able to actually just to, um, you know, do this challenge because of how the fact that you, uh, well, the first two is not that big of a deal, but the last part you most certainly have to able to master on it because even though, if you don't do it at the right time, then you won't able to actually successful this. But if you do successful that, like I just did right there, 
then you would able normally get yourselves a glorious Rainbow Stars ranking, so take that. Alright, so let's see what stamp we can get after deserving it. I believe this is one, this stamp right there is based off from um, Hockey. Because I can tell for that, because we'll get to that until we get to the, um, the bonus catalog. So, anyway, stage six, here we go. Erase all the monsters. Oh boy. With, to make matters worse, though, is that we're going to be doing this with one health. So, if I manage to mess that one up, then I'll have to redo it for that particular challenge again. So, I will say, though, is that the music looks very much like... It does remind me like I was playing a Game Gear Sonic title, but it forms of the music segments like that. Well, this is far so mainly um, just more likely a comparison between a few some of these emphasis like this. Oh dear lord, how am, I, how am I supposed to do this? I know, it's, I know it's a matter to the actual points itself, but even then, though, this might take me a long ass time to able to actually do this. Even though, sorry for a little bit of a language for this point, folks, but even then, though, that I suggest right about now, how the fact that if you're watching this, then until you're able to actually come across into a strong language, if you can tell for this point right there, I suggest you're able to mute the audio for those of you kids who are actually watching this. It was especially noticeable in, uh, well, I don't mind the uh, the actual adults will actually uh, mind watching this, but it's just it's one of those things that how the fact that if I can get a tad bit more frustrated by the forms of some of these segments notice, but it's just how those things usually just happens to be like that, so... Oh yeah, I just realized that Bodo was actually in this game, just like the ones in Super Mario Bros. 2, but uh, normally as far as I mainly can subs with this, but yeah, if you can see right there, with that little green bar is almost filling up, uh, whatever it gets to uh, full up with the forms of the green uh, bar, uh, this represents how the fact they all slowly change into- Oh hi 8-Bit Luigi, how's it going mate? <laughs> Yeah, because if you can't tell already, because this game was actually marks the, uh, still the continuation of the 30th anniversary of Luigi, after all, because it's especially noticeable by the forms of NES Remix 2. Actually, let me just, um, yeah, because of the fact that this game does retain Super Luigi Brothers, because that's how the fact that there's gonna be a lot of 8-bits right Luigi all over the place. He might appear randomly, though, but that's just how I think it is when it comes to the actual point of this, so... Yeah, I'll meet you guys back in the forms of a successful attempt on this mission right there, because I don't know how this mission will work out, but... Oh boy, I can, I can guarantee I was like, going like, oh, fudge me. Yeah, but I know it though, anyway. But anyway, so, um, yeah, I'll meet you guys back in a successful attempt, and I'm hoping I can able to bypass this. But, yeah, it might take me a lot of attempts to do this, so... <sighs> Let's just get this over with, shall we? Because I know for a fact that it's a pretty solid start at first, but then later on it gets really complicated in my part. So even now, no, yeah. Dear Lord, do you know how many how many attempts I actually gonna come across into this specific stage? Thirty attempts. Thirty. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, the reason being for this is because of how the fact that well, this stage uh, all by itself wasn't really that much of a big of a deal. Well. The only complicated thing about this challenge though, to me though, is just how the fact that it can be really frustrating at times if you don't know where you can able to do it the patterns right, but if you messed up for that one specific pattern's notice, uh, chances are you're gonna get screwed over no matter what it will be, but even then, um, I will say though that the music can get pretty annoying at times, even especially how compressed that is. Well, at least to me though anyway, but here comes Warrior right there. Strangely enough though, he's actually in purple in this game. Well, as compared to the future entries of the forms of Warrior's appearance, that um, normally has himself his uh, yellow hat, or the yellow cap even, and even especially the yellow shirts, while he still keeps the purple overalls, don't get me wrong for that particular point right there, which just makes it pretty standard when it comes to those specific stuff right there. So even then, I'll, come on, let's just get this over with. Oh, jeez. You have no idea how the fact that how dreadful that mission was to me, though, because, um... It might take me a couple of minutes to able to actually uh, accomplish with this, but even then, no, that you can definitely tell from this little fun, uh, little wild luck factor to it. Well, I would say it's skillful at times, but it's just how the fact that it can get pretty daunting at times to me, though. Oh god, you gotta be kidding me! Oh yeah, he hello, a bit Luigi again. Huh? <laughs> it's been running around all over the place onto that specific black bar. Yes. <sighs> oh my god. Fuck. This. Stage. Wow. That is amazing. 
just amazing. <sighs> Stage 7. Apologize if the, um, you know, the strong language was in this video, but that's only because I just don't care, because even then, no. I just want to get this game finished before we move on to the next catalog, because sure, it's pretty cool back in the day, but since was this, this was still in 2018, it's still pretty much, uh, complicated, or it's basically noticeable how archaic it still was. So anyways, press the A and B at the same time until you're able to actually gather as many monsters all in one go, with that specific, um, you know, poll session right there. So, LA, anyway, at least we got, we've only got, uh, three rainbow stars in new forms of, uh, Warriors Woods pretty much, except, um, just five of them. Well, at least so far, though, anyway. Okay, now let's move on to the final stage, final stage, sorry, until we're able to actually finish up with Warriors Woods. Well, I still need to get back into stage four, until I'm able to do a successful attempt on the rainbow stars on that department right there. But, I don't know, at least it all depends on those specific stuff as far as you might need it to be, so... Okay, so this last mission right there... Oh god, dear lord, now I have to erase all the monsters again, but now with uh, the huge portions throughout. But at least the only good thing about this is that, if you ma as you can see, there's actually a, a Chaos Emerald. Nah, just kidding, it's just a diamond, because even though the game tells me it's a diamond. Not the Chaos Emerald, because this is a not a sacred game after all. But anyways, though, uh, the great thing about the diamond, though, is the fact that it can actually get rid of the uh, the exact same color as the forms of some of these monsters have. But in forms of, like, take the uh, the, uh, the green diamonds, for example, that um, in order to actually get rid of the, uh, the green diamonds, is that uh, you can obviously do a little bit of a, uh, a chain reaction going on right there. In fact, let me restart this stage, because I have no idea how this works. Still, can't deny by that. Oh, jeez. This is not a very good video to able to actually just to get this um, done with, because I know my mood is actually a little bit alright and stuff, but this is one of those things that, in this particular game, it just feels like somewhat similar to Cuckoo Land, when it forms of frustrating, complicated controls, and even especially noticeable in Ice Climber's um, stiffest uh, momentum or physics, and even especially noticeable by the forms of the stiffest controls ever it will be, not to mention for this throughout, and, um, that's as far as I can mainly consumption with this particular part's notice, so, um, um, let's just say I'm most able to drop, um, I don't know how this works again, um, there we go, there we go! Oh, jeez, I'm finally done with this, oh wait, so I've only got one more star left before I'm able to completely done with Warrior's Woods, so, jeez. Anyways, though, so we've actually unlocked stage 4, all the way up to stage 6, so just like before in NES Remix 1, you've actually unlocked 3 more stages every time you actually just manage to do something like that, so... Anyways, though, so now we've got ourselves our Tanuki Mario right there, ever since, you know, Super Mario Bros. 3. And, uh, yeah, I might as well able to actually go ahead and go after the final star in Warriors Words before we get this game finished and over with. Before we move on to the next video, though, anyway, we'll be jumping to Remix 1 stages, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and get started by the forms of stage 4 in a successful attempt in the 3 stars department, which... I'm assuming this particular challenge doesn't nearly, uh, doesn't take nearly as long as, um... The 6th stage, or especially noticeable on the 8th uh, the and the final level, but oh my goodness. I would say though that stage number 8 wasn't as big as a pain in the ass as the ones in stage um, 6 was because... Well, at least as far as I majorly consumption with this particular stuff, as far as skills wise. So, anyways, why can I keep? Why can I pick that up? Jeez, the game expects me to not pick anything up for these parts there. So let's go ahead and pick this up there. There we go. Oh, that's actually pretty good right there. At least as far as the actual um, better performance that is. And I believe we've only got one more red here. So let's go ahead and just grab the bomb there and toss it onto the actual monster. And there we go. Jesus Christ. That took me forever to do this, though. Believe it or not, I don't care as long as I got three stars. But... Well, at least I'm as well able to actually do myself a good luck syndrome for Rainbow Stars, though. Which, even though that, that would able to happen, though. So, anyways, that concludes the, uh, I would say the first half of the forms of the individual games, as far as I'm aware. But, dear God, what was words, really? That can really kick my ass, as far as I'm aware, for those particular challenges like this. But, hey, uh, as long as we still got three rainbow stars on that specific three stages, but the only missing is the forms of just only five stages left. So, same applies for Dr. Mario as well, so don't forget about that. 
So yeah, with that being said though, is the fact that we're going to be ending things off at this point right there. So yeah. Um, join me next time and let's play NES Remakes 2. In fact, before we end things off right there, um, I need to double check of how the fact that how much stamps I've actually collected at this point in time. And, uh, yeah, I might as well be able to actually just to see how this will turn out to be. So, um, actually I might as well uh, save the stamps for later because, um, next time around though on NES Remakes 2, it's the fact that we're going to be jumping into remakes, set of one, uh, remakes 1 set of stages. Um, uh, normally there are only 20 of them in total, so yeah, see you guys then. Later, fellas.